でも使うとは三河節の意地を見せてくれるわ Hello and welcome to Let's Play Neo, episode 14, The Immortal Flame. We're here in Fushimi Castle. We're trying to save Tori Mototada. He's making a last stand in the castle against the Ishida Mitsunari forces. He's making this last stand to buy time for Tokugawa Iyasu. In the east, to gather more forces and prepare his army for a major battle against the Ishida forces. Fushimi Castle was built not all that long ago, about, I think it would be eight years before the game takes place. It was built to be a residence for Toyotomi Hideyoshi, the former regent of Japan. It was in Kyoto. I'm not sure if Kyoto had named, build, named like a palace or a castle for it, or if the name is just lost to time. I believe it's referred to now as Nijo Palace, because of that's just what it was later called, and the palace built there afterwards was called. You see a somewhat new variant of the Yoki, but this is basically just the Yoki with a reskin. The people here are mainly Ishida soldiers, but we also see a lot of Saika soldiers. The Saika are more of like a mercenary group. They focus a lot on heavy firearms and they love guns. I didn't show it off too often, but in this level there are buckets of water that you can jump through or dash through. And when you do so, you get coated in water. Then you can run through open patches of flames much more safely. To talk a little bit about Tori Mototada, he was a hostage that was sent alongside Tokugawa Iyasu as a child to the Imagawa clan. He served Tokugawa even then. Afterwards, he went on to become a very beloved soldier underneath Tokugawa, eventually a general. He was known for his extreme loyalty to Tokugawa Iyasu. Like Tokugawa Iyasu, he is from Mikawa. He is a soldier of Mikawa. There is a sort of pride among the Mikawa of being warriors. That began, I believe, with Tokugawa Iyasu's grandfather. I'm trying to remember his name, so I'll just look it up. That's right, it was Matsudaira Kiyoyasu.
he was assassinated by someone who believed that Kieyasu had killed their father. There was speculation that Nobuhita was behind it and used that to orchestrate a lot of what went on between the Oda clan and the Imagawa clan and the Matsudaira clan at the time. But I don't know if there's any actual evidence to that or just speculation. Uh, so these big barrels explode if gunpowder and fire hits them. I forgot about that doing this the first time. You can either dash through and hit them yourselves to break them, or you can just let them shoot through it first while you're at a range. So to talk about who the Saika are, the Saika Iki, they're a group of Buddhist fanatic warriors, like the Iko Iki. They serve Han... what was it called? Han Ganji? The... I believe it was Han Ganji. They serve them and their temples and the Buddhist temples in their defiance of Oda Nobunaga. They held out against them for quite a time. They were ultimately defeated, but still persisted as a serious group and a threat. Those of the Saika group love guns. They just absolutely love them little mistake on my part of dashing through these because some of them you can actually shoot yourself and open new environments. The leader of the Saika is known as Saika Magoichi. There have been multiple Saika Magoichis. That is a name that is passed down a bit similar to Hattori Hanzo. Also here we get to use the water buckets to move through fire. The Saika Magoichi of this time period is the son of a previous one, who is now leading the Saika. If I could compare to another fictional character, there, well, each Saika Magoichi is a bit like Big Boss. Or Venom Snake. The leader of the Saika of this time, their real name would be Suzuki Shigetomo. After the Saika's defeat underneath Nobunaga, they went on to serve Hideyoshi. He 
even after his death, they went on to serve the Toyotomi clan. And as you can see here, they took part on the side of the Western Army underneath Ishida to attack Fushimi Castle. You also really want to watch out for these gunners that are using the hand cannons. You don't want to guard against them. They'll break your guard and leave you open for another shot. You'll want to get prepared and dodge them. This is not the first time Kyoto has burned. I've talked about it before, but Matsunaga Hisahide, with the help of those in the Miyoshi clan that served him, did come to Kyoto and burn parts of it down, kill the Shogun, burn down the great statue of Buddha. This place in Kyoto has seen reconstruction and new construction quite a few times. These small pistols, you don't get to actually use yourself in game, which I think kind of stinks. It would be neat to have pistols as an option, though the game might end up becoming a bit too Devil May Cry-like. There were indeed pistols during this time. They weren't quite as accurate, but you could wield two at once and fire one, then fire the other. More often you saw rifles. This level is fairly long. It has a lot of hidden little paths you can go down to. I will not be showing off all of them. In fact, there is an entire area I will be avoiding because I find it very frustrating. You can actually go below the castle. Below the castle are just tons of wheel monks patrolling, wheeling around, spreading fire. It sucks. I hate fighting them. <laughs> I also made an error while recording this episode. Oh, sorry if you can hear the dogs barking in the background. But an error I made during this episode is that I wore the Samurai General armor. That armor is heavy armor, and I did not realize that. Or not heavy armor, but heavier than my armor, so I'm slower and regen stamina slash key much less quickly.
Now that we're inside of the keep, the keep can be a bit confusing. It has a lot of different pads right there on the floor. That darkened wood, if you step on it, will break and you'll fall through to the bottom and have to fight a ton of wheel monks. There are a lot of patches where you can fall through that break away. Some kind of telegraph it, others not so much. You'll also want to be careful if you're sprinting through this level to quickly get to the boss because of these enemies are vertically going to be very different in location from you but horizontally they aren't and that's where the aggro range goes. So they'll be able to follow you throughout the castle. I'm not quite sure why the Yoki here look different. I guess the idea is that this is Edward Kelly's work, where before we were just having Yoki and Yokai that were formed by not exactly natural causes, but were just happening. Whereas these Yoki are intentionally being created by Edward Kelly to serve in Ishida Mitsunari's army. This fight is much harder when you don't take out those gunners on the side. When you do though, this is just one other Yoki. And not a big deal. Here we are fighting Saika Magoichi. This is where my error of armor became the biggest thing I noticed. For this fight, you generally want to be fast. He's quite fast. You want to be ready to dodge. You want to have a lot of stamina. Whenever he's in the air, if you can manage to hit him, he'll fall down, and then you can get in a grapple attack on the ground. After dodging one of his bombs, always get ready to guard, because he'll shoot right after. You can guard against his shots fairly easily. The bombs you can guard against as well. His melee attacks aren't very dangerous. When flying, he can swoop down and grapple you and throw you to the ground. You want to be extra careful if you're near fire, because he can drop you off in the fire and you'll probably die. He is weak to lightning. As well as earth. Resistant to fire, wind, poison, and paralysis. You can still throw him in the fire, and it will damage him. You've got to be careful about where you break the water barrels, because that buff can go on him too, and then fire will do even less damage to him. Whenever you're trying to heal, you want to guard against a bullet first. Be very wary, because sometimes he'll fire three shots in a row. 
you do not want to heal during that, because he'll get in a lot of damage, possibly killing you. When he whistles for his Guardian Spirit, go off to the side from where he was facing, because a gust of wind will fly out forwards. Kunai and other throwing weapons are very useful for this fight, because if you throw them at him and hit him while he's in the air, he'll fall down and you can get a grapple attack. He's otherwise not the hardest boss, he's just very fast. I made another error there, which was using my Guardian Spirit and standing in the fire, so it got used up much more quickly. You want a living weapon carefully around him because of he can end up going in the air and flying and being out of your reach, so you'll waste it. This castle will fall. Run while you can. Not you, you two. の夜殿とは根性の別れになることは分かっておったな幼き頃より今川武田という芸にも恐ろしき者たちと共に戦った間なら今更言葉などいりもさぬ殿が太平の世 
now it's time to train with Yagyu Seki Shusai. He is a famous swordsman. He served underneath the Yagyu clan. As a part of it, he served underneath Matsunaga Hisahide. He was known for studying uh, Confucianism, the way of Zen, Buddhism, and then pairing that with his swordsmanship and his philosophies. He served the Shogun. He served multiple Shoguns, if I remember correctly. Served underneath Oda Nobunaga. He served underneath Tokugawa Iyasu. Unlike a lot of characters, he was actually alive during this time, in the, when the game takes place. He's not exactly a tough fight. I Naomasa is a much harder fight, I would say. This is for the... Now, what is it called? Not exceptional. The... I can't remember. Sword Arts. For your sword skills, you have... Legendary skills, I believe is what they're called. You unlock the legendary skills to have by defeating him in this battle with the sword. There are multiple dojo battles for each different weapon type. I'll try to show them off in the LP. It'll be a bit hard. One of them is even against Ashikage Yoshiteru, the former Shogun. But that's that, and that was episode 14. I will see you next time when we get into the Battle of Sekigahara, which will decide the fate of Japan.